welcome back to another B&B video. Today, we're up here in Dallas area, fishing with some of my buddies up here on bass boats. So today, it's gonna be very, very special. This is gonna be my first ever bass boat that I've ever fished on. I'm pumped. I hope you guys are pumped too because it's gonna be a great episode for you guys. We're gonna get on some big ends. I'm hoping to catch my personal best this weekend. Stay tuned, guys. It's 5.30 a.m. and I'm pumped right now. I'll tell a little time check for you guys. 5.45 on the dot. We gotta get going here. We gotta skedaddle up, get all of our gear. We got all of our gear right there on the bed. We're gonna throw all that in the truck and we are going to hit the water this morning. Stay tuned, it's gonna be a great video and we will catch you guys on the water. We made it over here. We got the boat behind us as well. We're gonna be headed out here. We're gonna be headed out with Dave. He's actually taking me out on the bass boat today. It's gonna to be super fun, super exciting. I'll leave his channel link down in the description if you wanna check him out. He's got a uh, Instagram, a YouTube, and basically everything that he's got. I'll leave it all down in the link in the description and I'll leave his main YouTube channel as the first link because that's probably what he wants promoted the most. Anyways, we're gonna go check out this boat here. I'm actually gonna be driving on this boat. It's gonna be a great time. Stay tuned here and we are gonna have a blast. Saltwater fishing and didn't and didn't clean it. The hotel. There's one. Oh, you're on. Yep. Oh, shit. are you dead serious? Dead serious. Oh, shit. oh, shit. he's got one. Oh, oh, it's a white bass. Is that a white bass? A recording. Is that a white bass, dude? Yes, sir. Oh, dude, that's a white bass. Let's go, man. Holy shit! Hold well, on. Boys, boys, we're recording. That is a good chunky yeah. white bass. Look, this is my first little fish today. Oh. Oh, and he's back in the water. We'll oh, catch more, though. We'll catch more. Dude, that means they're out here. For sure, man. I've never even seen a white bass. That is dope. <laughs> Down, right? Really? Yeah. Zach, I want to go to a cat. Alrighty, fellas, that'll conclude this day out on the water with Buddy Dave here. Y'all be sure to follow me on yes, YouTube at David Christensen Fishing. Check yes, it out. Sir. He's working on a name right now. What, what we were gonna? I'm thinking about East Texas Outdoorsman. Y'all comment below and let us know yeah. what we need to do. Comment here. down below. Yeah, what comment he down said. below. Definitely. Sure to put a like on this yes, video. sir. He's working hard. Yes, sir. We're working hard out here getting some content for you guys. But we're gonna get this guy right here. We're gonna do a rundown on this boat because I'm actually looking in the market to buy one of these. So let's see what we got here. I'm gonna run it all down what everything components and everything because I know a lot of you guys also want bass boats and this is going to be a great first starter option out on the lake all day it ran perfectly good everything was awesome and we went up to about what do you say Dave about 20 what? how many miles an hour oh man we got up to about 30 today 30 miles about an 30. hour 30 miles an hour rips good gets up on a plane and it this thing looks great so we're gonna do a quick rundown here just to add a little bit more content to the video because well as you guys saw in the video we didn't catch very many fish mr. Dave back there caught one fish and I caught well, let's just say I got skunked. So we're gonna give a quick rundown here and we will basically conclude the video out. So stay tuned. So what we got, we got on the bass boat here. We cleaned it all off right there. As you guys can see, we cleaned it all up. I'm gonna be giving a full down, full rundown, I guess you could say, of all the compartments, what the motor is, look at the steering system, what kind of fish tracker he has and everything. Let's start right here up top here. We got a Finn Coda Edge trolling motor at the very front here, it'll go all the way up to five speed right there as you guys can see that i don't know how well you guys can see that the trolling motor right there looks really good really sharp and really pushes the boat pretty hard but back here a little bit different story 
box right here we can put stuff in. Fishing rod holders right here. This is badass. I really like this a lot. Fishing rod holders right here. Live well right here. We put drinks in it that time. We got the tracker windshield and the, all the specs to it basically. Um, this is the fish finder actually, the Laurent. Four, he's grabbed from the bottom. And we're up, it's me, man. Oh, okay. So we got that whole the setup, whole deal right there. Looks really, really good. Fish finder, beautiful. Worked really well as the water depth and everything. Uh, what we got down here, we got the up and down, forward and reverse right there. Really simple, really easy to use, especially if you're just a beginner getting into the bass boat scene. Got the motor or the steering wheel right here. Really good, really turns well, really rips here. We got the, everything just, dude, guys, every, everything just looks beautiful on this. This is a great first boat to start off with. Practice with the bass boat scenario. And then we got over here, as you guys can see, three persons or 390 pounds, 855 pounds, persons motor gear. So overall, this boat, you can put a lot of stuff on it but I wouldn't go too hard on it. Four people, I wouldn't even go four people. I'd just do three, like I said. We got back here where we got some compartments right here. We got a bunch of stuff here. This flips up as well uh, to check the motor and stuff like that. They made the most out of their area and we've actually got compartments in the seat. Would you look at that? That looks good. We got life jackets on board as always. Make sure we're legal out here. How much gas does it hold? Now let me say this real quick. I filled this tank up two times since I bought this boat about a month ago and I've been out every single day off. Wow. Sips gas, it sits on a nine gallon tank. I think I've put 15 bucks in it since I've owned it. Holy smokes, guys. It, great fuel mileage, I guess you could say, on this boat. I would definitely recommend a buy, a purchase on this boat right here. We'll close that up. This is actually a really nice Mercury. It's a four-stroke motor. It's 40 horsepower, so it'll actually rip up to 40 miles an hour right here. Look at that, boys. 40 horse right there. This motor is perfect for a beginner bass fisherman just getting into bass fishing and they want to go and get all, get to the new areas, new fish that they haven't found before. Get there quick, too. So that's basically a full rundown here. Everything's welded nice, beautifully, looks great, painted well. And there's actually, guys, a special coating on here to where this never gets hot, never gets too hot to where you can't touch it. Something really cool that I like about this boat is it never gets too hot. But that'll be it for this, uh, oh, this little, one yeah. Thing. Sorry, fellas. There's a system on here in these rails you see on that side. It's called the VersaTrack. It's great for people who do YouTube, who do standing fishing, cat fishing, because you can mount anything in that VersaTrack through Bass uh, Pro. It's a really cool system. That's that's awesome. That uh, that'll be definitely a purchase for me because it'll help me film way better videos, get to way better fishing spots, and catch a lot more fish. That'll be it for this video. Thank you guys for watching this B&B video. Had a great time fishing with Dave back there. But we'll check you out on another one. If you want to watch the next video, it'll be up there or down there. But without further ado, we will see you guys on the next one, I guess you could say, because we're still going to be filming a lot more up here in Dallas. Hoping to get fishing with uh, somebody that I've been wanting to fish for for a while. I've been definitely wanting to fish with Dave for a while. And there's also somebody else that I want to fish with as well. His name is James, J.H. Miller01. He's going to be in the next video. But yeah, that'll be it. See you guys. Catch you on another one. Right, everybody, we got the bass here on the top water. God damn, dude. Hey, uh, can I get a three finger combo with a Dr. Pepper? Uh, yeah, can I get a... Oh, fuck, big one. Come on. No, it's good.